Please start paying close attention to these signs from now on. Diabetes is an extremely dangerous widespread disease. And the earlier it is detected, the easier it is to treat. General malaise, fatigue, these are the first signs that the food energy consumed, this means carbohydrates and sugar, is not reaching the body's cells due to insulin resistance. This can therefore already be a sign of diabetes. But who visits a doctor just for having these symptoms? There are many reasons why you are tired and powerless. But the chances of recovery in this stage, in this pre-diabetic stage, which means in the early stage of diabetes, are still excellent. When a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes is made, there are often consequential damages, for example, to the cardiovascular system. That's why today we're going to take a look at how you can recognize diabetes in yourself, and we are starting with the very first signs. Maybe I have diabetes? Important. First, it is usually not just a single sign, but pay special attention if you observe two, three, four signs of the following, so a bunch of these symptoms together. And secondly, unfortunately, the symptoms occur only very gradually, especially in type 2 diabetes. And this is the one that is the most commonly occurring in the world. In total, around 350 million people suffer from diabetes worldwide. In Germany, around 8 to 10 percent of adults are affected. The risk is increasing sharply after the age of 60, especially for type 2 diabetes. And the trend is increasing. There are more and more diabetes diagnoses occurring. Therefore, please pay attention to the following warning signs as soon as you discover them. First things first, please go to the doctor. And secondly, please implement my tips. At the end of the video, I will tell you what you should do if you are diagnosed with diabetes. Hello, my name is Dr. Tobias Weigel. With my YouTube channel, I want to explain typical common diseases in a medically understandable and correct way. How you can recognize them, how to treat them, and, of course, the topic of exercise and nutrition, because all of this is ultimately very closely related. And if you don't want to miss anything, subscribe to my channel. Diabetes mellitus is one of the most common widespread diseases. The World Health Organization estimates that diabetes will be one of the seven leading causes of death by 2030, which is not too far in the future. Unfortunately, many of us still underestimate just how dangerous the disease can really be. However, there is a risk of some secondary diseases of the cardiovascular system. Kidney dysfunction, blindness, foot amputations are all possible outcomes. At least once a week, I give an anesthetic for an operation involving a foot amputation, which is usually due to diabetes. Therefore, try to make sure you don't get diabetes. And if you do recognize the first signs on yourself, then go to the doctor right away and start treatment. This is very important. And as sorry as I am to have to say it, Diabetes is very frequently a consequence of permanently wrong diet. It's not about eating potato chips sometimes, but about eating the wrong food all the time. High alcohol consumption and little exercise. Sign number one, frequent urination. When you have diabetes, the body tries to get rid of the increased sugar in the blood via the urine. Of course, it tries to get it back into balance. Those affected may therefore experience an increased urge to urinate. This is called polyuria. This is often the very first sign of having diabetes. My videos are important for education, for example, for early recognition of signs of illness. And I describe in my guides what you can actually do to live a healthier life. I have a total of four guides. More will follow. On the immune system, the cardiovascular system, but also how you can lose weight in a targeted manner or how you can build muscles in a targeted manner. So visit my shop now, learn more and live healthier. Sign number two, feeling intensely thirsty. So, an increased urge to pee more often. This can result in a lack of water, that's logical. Those affected often feel an increased need to drink. Drinking often and a lot is actually an early sign of diabetes. And this is exactly where the problem, the challenge emerges. Those affected do not have a sudden new giant urge to drink. This doesn't happen from one day to the other. This may happen due to low fluid consumption, not diabetes. This doesn't happen overnight, it develops gradually. And when you ask, you usually hear the following from the affected people. Yes, I've actually been thirsty a lot over the last few years. I thought it wasn't a big deal. Sign number three, dry or itchy skin. Very dry skin can also be one of the first signs of diabetes. The skin is dry, the skin itches, that is also typical of diabetes. 
This dry skin occurs when the body excretes more sugar in the urine. This means, as mentioned, that the body loses fluid in the process. Sign number four, poorer wound healing and more frequent infections. When you have diabetes, often at a more advanced stage of diabetes, the immune system is weakened. The weakened immune system and a poorer blood flow to the skin both contribute to the fact that wounds heal much more slowly. We actually see this in diabetics very frequently. In addition, diabetics are more susceptible to various infectious diseases, typically urinary tract infections, athlete's foot and other skin infections. Periodontitis also occurs more frequently with diabetes, so problems with the teeth. Sign number five, lack of energy and tiredness. And now we return to a sign that I mentioned at the very beginning of the video. In the event of an insulin deficiency, the body can no longer properly utilize its most important energy source, sugar. If this fuel, sugar, is missing, those affected often feel tired and lacking in energy. But as already mentioned, who goes straight to the doctor for this? Who immediately thinks of diabetes? There are many causes of energy and lack of motivation. But that's precisely what makes a diabetes diagnosis so difficult. And that's one of the reasons why regular checkups are a must. A regular checkup with your general practitioner, including a blood test, of course. And then, for example, your blood sugar is also determined. This is part of the routine checkup. You should really take advantage of this, especially to detect diabetes early. Again, why is there a deficiency? You actually have a lot of sugar in your blood, but this sugar doesn't get to the organs where it is required the brain, the muscles, and so on. And that's why you feel weak. And another important sign is the so-called acetone smell in your breath. Maybe you've actually noticed that before in yourself or someone else. It is possible to distinguish relatively reliably between type 1 and type 2 diabetes with this way, which is important. Only with type 1 diabetes can this smell of acetone be noticeable in the air you exhale. And it's a bit reminiscent of, you could say, an overripe fruit. If not enough sugar enters the cells, Due to a lack of insulin, the body breaks down fat cells. This creates, among other things, acetone or the smell of acetone. This is a sign of a severe insulin deficiency which can lead to ketoacidosis and, in the worst case, to a diabetic coma. Basic knowledge about diabetes. And now I will explain to you a little what diabetes actually is. Diabetes is a metabolic disease in which too high blood sugar levels cause problems in the body. The signs mentioned are, so to speak, the consequences of this. There are different types, and the two that are probably most relevant to you are type 1 diabetes and the much more common type 2 diabetes. By the way, only this type 2 is also called diabetes mellitus. Both types of diabetes are often confused. But when you say diabetes mellitus, you mean type 2 diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, the body cannot produce enough insulin. This is due to an incorrect immune system reaction and blood sugar levels rise uncontrollably. This is a very basic summary. Type 2 diabetes develops over the course of life. It develops when the cells become increasingly unable to absorb insulin and the sugar levels or the glucose levels in the blood continue to rise. So there is always more and more sugar in the blood. Therefore, if you were to taste the urine, it would taste sugary. Around 90 to 95 percent of all diabetes cases in Germany are type 2 diabetes. And there is an increasing trend here. In contrast to type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes usually shows fewer typical symptoms and fewer signs and is therefore usually only discovered late. The above mentioned non specific symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, and reduced performance often occur. But you don't know why because it doesn't happen suddenly. Also frequent urge to urinate. If you have increased thirst, it could be a sign of diabetes. You should pay attention to this and go to the doctor early. Once a certain blood sugar concentration is reached, the excess glucose is excreted in the urine. This is called the renal threshold. And this sugary urine obviously requires more water than usual to compensate for this. So those affected have to urinate much more often than before. Or in other words, they have to pee much more often. This is a typical sign. As I have just explained, the body compensates for this loss of fluid by generating a strong feeling of thirst. You simply have to drink more. Please watch out for these symptoms. A diabetes diagnosis always means a change in the lifestyles of those affected. Or it should at least mean a change of lifestyle. Type 1 diabetics have to work with insulin and inject insulin. Type 2 diabetics will at least have to adapt to a new lifestyle. 
it requires them to do more exercise and adopt a healthier diet. In any case, the diagnosis also represents an opportunity and that is important. Because with the appropriate approach, many patients can, and really this is possible, improve their metabolism again because diabetes is a metabolic disease and they can get significant relief from symptoms, which also increases their quality of life. But, and this has to be said, it is mainly up to you. Tip, eat regularly, don't snack. For your main meals, choose a filling, fiber-rich diet. It should have the right amount of protein, for example, legumes, fish, meat, dairy products, and especially plenty of vegetables. Fruit and vegetables. Eat regularly with breaks of several hours in between. Only in these short intervals of fasting, so to speak, can the body switch to burning fat. And at the same time, you shouldn't eat too much at once because then your blood sugar level will change drastically, it will skyrocket, you want to avoid that. Avoid eating snacks all the time, especially the sweet snacks. This includes avoiding high-calorie drinks, avoid latte macchiato. Carbohydrates should generally be eaten in the so-called complex variety. Wholemeal bread, wholemeal pasta, or basically anything made from spelt, unsweetened cereal flakes. Oats in particular contain an important dietary fiber that helps to lower blood sugar levels. It is assumed that oat days as a short cure, for example, can make the body's cells more sensitive to insulin again. This has not yet been clearly proven in the studies. Tip, avoid white flour at all costs, avoid sugar. They cause blood sugar levels to rise sharply. Fast food and convenience products often contain large amounts of hidden sugars and unhealthy fats. They should therefore only be eaten at most once a week, if at all. But you'd better avoid it. Remember, you have diabetes, you are sick. Smoking should be just as taboo as excessive alcohol consumption. Alcohol in particular is a major calorie trap. It inhibits fat burning and downright promotes diabetes. Comment on the video now. Feel free to write down your experiences, tips to recognize first signs. Thank you very much and stay loyal to me.